This speech was made during the last Congress, ADID, MERTC, organized by the World Refining Association beginning of September 2018 in Abu Dhabi. The objective was to highlight main levers and drivers for fixed bed catalytic processes and detailing the impacts of catalyst dense loading in such units. Here is a very brief introduction of Credist Company. Just in a one word, Credist is one of the main experts in catalyst dense loading since many years designing its own equipment, and Credist is loading today more than 20,000 tons of catalysts only in dense, which is the second highest volume worldwide. When listing the levers impacting unit performances, three of them are of major importance. The process, the internals, and the catalyst. In a word, what we call your diamonds. But most of the time, refiners don't pay enough attention to catalyst loading, which is like mounting your diamond on a ring. If it's well done, it can highlight your diamond. But if not, it can spoil it. You will probably agree that the six drivers we are listing here are probably those who are the most important for optimizing your process units. Safety, quality, cost TCO, rapidity, flexibility. For sure, according to companies or units, the priorities between these parameters can be importantly different. We observed in the past that the objectives can sometimes be a little different according to maintenance teams during turnaround or according to process teams during operation. As at the end of the day we are talking about the same house and the same money box, we try some recommendations for improving the future. Now, let's go a little deeper in the dense loading job. We can list three main features for assessing a good dense loading. First is density. Second is homogeneity. And third is catalyst integrity. Homogeneity is probably the most important because if not reached, it can lead to channeling and preferential passes leading to hotspots, delta T, and loose of yields. Well, this slide is not talking about sport nor salted food. We just wanted to explain why we chose the channel technology for designing our dense loading equipment compared to other technologies. Indeed, we were convinced it could bring the best results for density, homogeneity, catalyst preservation, as well as reaching some specific constraints concerning the end of the beds. We have been improving year after year our equipment for dense loading, but still keeping channel technology we initiated in 2004. In extreme summary, in this slide, we explain how we demonstrated that Calidence equipment was not producing dust nor fines. This is a good news for limiting delta P into the bed, as well as for safety reasons. What's about rapidity? During turnaround, the objective is to minimize non-productive time, so we have designed equipment for reducing installation dismantling time on one hand and loading time on the other hand. In other domains like agriculture, we experienced much higher loading rates 
up to more than 250 cubic meters per hour, and we know, we know this can affect quality. That's the reason why, today, we are imposing a limitation in the loading rate with a maximum at 30 cubic meters per hour, which is already very high. Now, let's talk about cost. Dense loading is not a strategic cost. I mean, it's negligible compared to the price you pay for the catalyst itself. But, catalyst loading can be part of an important value. Remember the image of the ring which can highlight or spoil the diamond. You can gain or lose some hundred thousand or some millions of dollars. So, make the good choice. Creolist Oil claims to propose premium services. How? Technology is important for sure and we keep on investing for improving our equipment. But other items have to be considered, like the expert loaders are of prior importance and we'll, we also invest in our staff for applying credit severe procedure for training, including safety issues. The level of deliverable is also very important. And we can propose high level guarantees as well as very detailed reports for each job we perform. Oil and gas domain is today more and more digital. We talk about refineries 4.0. We also try to integrate this digital improvement for reaching dense loading 2.0. In this slide, we give some examples. We have to keep in mind that the optimization can also concern the whole system and not only the dense loading vendor. Now, it's already the end of this presentation and time to conclude. I let you read our conclusions. I hope this material helped having a more precise overview about dense loading, how doing a good dense loading and its impact on the global optimization of your units. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, you can contact us directly at the email address indicated in the first slide. Thank you for your attention and please remind that from our office windows we can see the Eiffel Tower, so you are warmly invi invited to come to visit us in Paris. <laughs>